One of the biggest changes in how I approach working out is the following. Let's say you have 50 years left to live. Let's calculate this by 365, then we have 18,000 days. Let's say it's 20,000. That's the max if you are 25, for example, and you live till maybe 75. Of course, you might potentially live longer, but it would make sense to expect the actual life expectancy. We divide this by 52, which is the amount of weeks a single year has, and this gives us 350 weeks. Now these 350 weeks, and you work out three times a week, pretty standard, gives you 1050 workouts left in your life. So now I think the question is not so much whether this day or this next two years you look ripped at the beach or at this specific date you increase your max maybe 2% and you therefore might increase your injury risk like, I don't know, 10%. And therefore you might not be able to work out for the next two weeks. You might not be able to work out for the next two months and therefore your overall progress that is usually goes maybe something like this in the beginning steep and then it unfortunately is kind of capped and begins to flatten out. If you at any point in time are not able to work out anymore. For the rest of your life, you will never be able to have this curve, but you will always be able only to get this curve because you can never make up for missed sessions. These are gone. Time is linear, at least as of currently. So therefore you cannot go back. And with every single workout you miss, you go onto a curve that is worse and worse and worse. And therefore, what you are capped at. You might still maybe be able to achieve something like similar to, to the one that is to the height of basically your overall progress, which is similar to this. Maybe you might be. But think of life and also workouts as this. First of all, it's linear. Therefore, here is a decision note. Now you can make two decisions, very simplified. The first one, the upper one is the one that goes up. The other one is the one that goes down. So the one that goes down means you are worse off. The other one means you are better off. Your decision tree constantly evolves and evolves and evolves and evolves. At every single node, at every single unit where you can make decisions, you make one decision. And now, if you make all of these decisions over time, it is clear that there is a version that is worse than you and that is better than you. Of course, may, this might only become apparent over time. You might need years to figure it out. Maybe it will never be apparent. But what I think of the workouts as very simplified. I have to be able to have to show up. Not to have to show up, but to show up at every single workout for the rest of the life. Out of the thousand workouts you only have left until you die. If you now do, maybe, even if you are not entirely sure, the one single deadlift that has like a little, just a little bit more kilograms. In the short term, this might increase how much you are able to deadlift. I began working out at age 12. Throughout all of these years, I often was injured. Sometimes it was my elbow, sometimes it was these here, sometimes it was my shoulders. and. It took me years to realize that every time I returned to working out, every time I basically were on this curve, then I began basically to increase intensity too much, which then meant that I went like this, and then I went like this again. Do you see the pattern? If you go like this, and then you cannot work out anymore, and you go like this, and you have to decrease intensity, or you have to decrease the weight because just your, your wrists, for example, are then beginning to become inflamed over time, then you will never be able to approach the actual curve that would have looked like this. This is the optimal curve, the optimal curve at which you don't hurt yourself over time, the optimal curve at which you are able to hit all of the single workouts of your life. If all of these All of these small little squares on this page actually, 
This is a Dean A4 page, which means it is usually 30 by 15 centimeters. This means now every half of it is half of a centimeter. So therefore, if we need a thousand workouts, then we just put it into three sections. And out of these days, these are basically all the working out days. These are the three sessions for 52 weeks for the rest of your life. Every single one of them, if you hit it, puts you on a better curve. But if the whole thing doesn't look like this here, where you hit every single one of these. Now you could also argue very easily, you could visualize with this thing here. If these are thousand days, then these are basically the rest of the weekdays. Of course, three divided by seven is not exactly one third, so therefore it's not. But if these were the rest of your lives, your life days, and basically every third day you would work out, of course, maybe every second day, maybe every third day, then if you just miss one of these workouts and instead of not, instead of making an X into your calendar or your habit tracking or your Samsung Galaxy Health tracking or whatever it is, your training log that doesn't look like this here. And let's just assume everything now is your life. And every third day you hit a workout. Consistently, consistently, consistently. If you can't hit it at age 50 anymore, but instead it then looks like nothing, or it looks like this, or like this, then I think it is not worth increasing the intensity a little bit more, increasing the weight a little bit more. Because what is important is to hit all of them.